Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here for another episode of Just My Opinion. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. So this news right here, you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title of this video. This is news is not new to anyone. Pretty much everyone has known this. But Ben Affleck is not going to be returning back as Batman in the DCEU universe. And to be honest with you, that's extremely disappointing to me. Um, I really haven't talked about that ever on my channel, and I wanted to now. And actually, when Ben Affleck was first announced many, many years ago that he was going to be reprising the role of a Christian Bell, you know, as Batman, I was excited. I was actually one of the people that was actually saying, OK, I think this is a great idea. He wouldn't be my first pick, but I am not, you know, complaining about that. You know, at the time, everybody was just, you know, losing their minds, acting crazy, you know, referring to older movies like Geely or whatever. And I'm just like, you know, guys, he's a great filmmaker. He's a great director. He's a great everything. I mean, he did um, with the town. He directed that and he started that. You know, I, I love that film. That was one of my favorite movies of that year. So, you know, I'm, I'm loving everything that he did in the Batman v Superman movie, even though that wasn't a good movie. You know, and I have it right here. And, you know, Justice League was a disappointment as well. I was very, very happy with uh, everything that he had to do with that film. Now, of course, it was announced about a month ago. Warner Brothers came out via deadline just saying that we are going to finally get the Batman movie uh, June 25th of uh, 2021. So we got a little ways away. And that is going to be directed by Matt Reeves. Now, another thing that's just really disappointing to me is we're not going to get the uh, Batman film that Ben Affleck flag wanted to direct himself um in in my opinion in hollywood you know he is the biggest fan of batman you know in the world and you know he's just not a fan boy he's a fan so he's not just gonna throw a bunch of crap you know into the fan into the film excuse me just to you know appease fans or whatever you know he is he he, he is a talented actor he is a great creative and he is just a diehard batman fan. I, I, I believe it was said once that he has like a batman cave in his house and uh jay olivia uh this was on twitter not too long ago um he says hi bill the original affleck script was the best batman script i've ever read ben had a kick-ass story and i believe that the audience and fans would have loved it that was actually tweeted out so then on this september 4th of 2018 and i want to see that you know what i'm saying i, I mean you know he was leaking uh, uh what, what was it um is it i can't uh deathstroke I can't believe I'm forgetting his name right here and I'm talking about Batman. But you get my point. I'm just like, I wanted to see that. You know, I mean, Ben Affleck, you know, he directed The Town. That is a fantastic movie that came out in, what was that, 2011? I believe, yeah, no, 2010. He also uh, directed Argo. I got that right here. Fantastic film. I mean, beautiful film. It won Best Picture. So I'm just saying to myself, like, what is it that Warner Brothers, the executives over there, then him and Jeff Johns just cannot get along and just come out with this picture that we know is going to be fantastic for all movie fans, all comic book fans. It's, it's just it's just really disappointing when you when, you know, he has such a great track record. You got Jay Olivia that's you know, knee deep into everything D.C., send out these good things but you know the powers that be over at warner brothers just you know cannot uh get things together at, at least the way i want you know i'm just i'm just giving you my opinion and so of course you know ben he went on uh jimmy kimmel the other day he said you know i tried to direct a version of it and work with a really good screenwriter but just couldn't come up with a version couldn't crack it so i thought it was time to let someone take a shot at it and they got some really good people and uh, I guess that they're talking about Matt Reeves. I personally, my opinion of that, I am not excited about Matt Reeves uh, taking over as the director. I mean, I'm pretty sure he'll do a decent job, but I really just don't see him doing a better job than uh, Ben Affleck here. Now, if you look at Matt Reeves, excuse me, uh, filmography, um, he directed a popular film that a lot of people know right here called Dawn of the Planet of the Apes came out in 2014 i love this film it, it was fantastic um uh, that's why i bought it you know this is something that i can uh watch over and over and over again now guess what that film that i just held up is related to this film right here rise of the planet of the apes that came out in 2011 and guess what i like this film better than i like dawn of the planet of the apes 
and Matt Reeves didn't direct Rise. Rupert Wyatt did that. And I prefer this film more than the one that Matt uh, Reeves did. The quality of that franchise went down. And not only did Matt Reeves direct Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, he also directed War of the Planet of the Apes. That came after this one. That's even worse than this one. So you have the first one in this series that everyone is bragging about that wasn't done by him. It was done by Rupert Wyatt, which I feel is a better film than both of his. Um, I was extremely disappointed with War for the Planet of the Apes. And so now we're going to be getting this person to do the Batman movie. OK, I'm not excited about it. I'm going to go in with an open uh, mind and give it a fair chance. But I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm happy about it. And then when we look at Matt Reeves' uh, filmography, what do we have here? Like I said, we have uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and War of the Planet of the Apes. There was no war. He did Cloverfield in 2008. That was a shoestring budget, but it was a great film. The ending was so-so, but again, I really did enjoy it. And he also did Let Me In uh, with, um, what is the character's name, the real name? Uh, Chloe Grace Moretz. She was a hit girl in the Kick-Ass movie that came out in 2010. Fabulous movie as well. You know, so he has those under his belts. And before that, you know, a bunch of um, TV series and things like that. But, I mean, all, the best thing on his uh, resume right now is Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, which I like Rise of the Planet of the Apes better. And, you know, now he's going to be over Batman instead of a person that was able to give us a best picture uh, win in 2010. So, I don't know, guys. And then, you know, reports are coming out that Army Hammer was going to be the Batman. There's a site called The Revenge of Fans. You always got to check the source. He's like, breaking Army Hammer and Final Toss to be Batman exclusive is time. And then some people over at, um, where is it, THR, The Hollywood Reporter and Variety, Justin Kroll and Boris Kitt. I'm not just going to read the tweets. You've already seen them probably. Well, no, maybe you haven't. But Boris Kitt from The, the Hollywood Reporter. I'm not in the business of debunking bunk. But considering everyone got tizzy over this, there's no truth to the below. Talking about the tweet from Revenge of Fans being told uh, there's, there's no truth to this below. Being told there haven't been any other meetings of the Batman. But that doesn't mean that Reeves and Warner Brothers don't have ideas of who they will like. I'm pretty sure they have an idea who they like. Um, uh, Daniel Radcliffe uh, name was not not Daniel Radcliffe. Excuse me. Um, the Twilight guy. Um, Robert Patterson name was floating around. And then Justin Crow, um, the gentleman with Variety, one of the major film publications trades. Yeah, that Batman rumor is false. That said potential for this week to be very interesting on a number of front fronts sleep tight. So the Army Hammer thing is not happening uh, with he was he my first choice? Absolutely not. Uh, but would I be pissed off? I mean, I don't know. I, I will get over it. But guys, I am bummed out that. I mean, it's old news, but, you know, it, it's out the bag. The cat's out the bag. I was still kind of just hoping that they would trick us, but pretty much confirmed now that uh, Batman, that Ben Affleck is not going to be Batman. I'm bummed out about it. You know, I, we, I, we had a good little thing going on with Man of Steel, you know, continuity with BVS and Wonder Woman and Justice League. And now it's all just, we got it all together and it's just falling apart. You know, it's just falling apart. I don't have Suicide Squad. They're rebooting that anyway because it sucks. But, guys, that is just my opinion on this latest news that has come out about Batman, the DC, Army Hammer, and all that good stuff. What did you think? I mean, you know, are, are you happy with Batman being out, Matt Reeves coming in, or you're not? What did you want? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel and look me up on social media. And, guys, before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.